Plus, Golden State's new COVID-19 cases down 32%, emaciated sea lions are showing up in Ventura County, and $600 state-issued stimulus checks approved for low-income households. It's the start of a new week, and I'm Winston Giesick, philanthropy and special sections editor for the Desert Sun in Palm Springs, bringing you the latest headlines on this Monday. In California brings you top Golden State stories and commentary from across the USA Today network and beyond. Get it free, straight to your inbox. The multi-county region, which includes the cities of Fresno and Bakersfield, will get significantly more vaccines this week dedicated to farmworkers. The governor has made equitable access to the coronavirus vaccine a priority, and the change in allocation formula comes as the state moves to inoculate others beyond health care employees in essential jobs, including food and farmworkers and teachers. These are the folks that never took a day off, these are the folks that never complained, these are the folks that wake up every single day and are there for the rest of us so we can go about our lives, Newsom said. It's not just Californians who benefit, it's the folks all across this country and around the world. It wasn't immediately clear what the state's decision to send more doses to the valley will mean for other regions. California on Sunday began transitioning to a distribution system run by insurance giant Blue Shield, starting in the Central Valley. Vaccine providers will now have to use a state website called My Turn to schedule vaccination appointments. Newsom acknowledged that, invariably there will be bumps along the road. Newsom has advanced measures to prioritize vaccinations for teachers, announcing recently that 10% of the all-first-dose vaccines the state receives will be set aside for educators and childcare workers, but he insists schools can reopen before all those workers are inoculated. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has also said vaccinations are not a prerequisite for schools to open. But many teachers' unions, including United Teachers Los Angeles, have balked at that idea, suggesting the shots should be required and the state should reach a lower case transmission rate before in-person classes resume. Newsom has been pushing a $6 billion school reopening plan in Sacramento, but negotiations with state legislators have stalled. The governor balked at a plan announced last week by legislative leaders, saying it would actually slow the pace of school reopenings. A USA Today Network analysis of Johns Hopkins University data shows that California ranked 26th among the states where coronavirus was spreading the fastest on a per-person basis. In the latest week, the United States added 489,902 reported cases of coronavirus, a decrease of 23% from the week before. Across the country, six states had more cases in the latest week than they did in the week before.